Hello and welcome to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Triumph 2.5 Pi. Welcome back to Quartzlight, and Quartzlight, if you don't know, we look at car brochures from around the world. So. If you're interested in that, or indeed just looking back at cars you all remember, please consider subscribing. Anyway, back to today's episode, the Triumph 2.5 Pi, and it's the Mark II version we're looking at, and that was launched in 1969, and like its predecessor, designed by Michelotti. But anyway, we've got quite a bit to get through today, so let's get straight on with today's brochure. Okay, so these are the brochures that we're going to actually look at today. This bottom one here is actually from 69. It's the launch brochure for the, as it says at the bottom there, the new Triumph 2.5 Pi Mark II. And don't worry, we'll zoom in and have a look at these a bit better in a moment. The top brochure is actually from 1972, so a bit later. And that just says the petrol injected Triumph 2.5 Pi mark two and the reason why we're kind of like having a look at both brochures today and in some cases we'll look at them side by side is because these two brochures was never really meant to be seen together we'll see some interesting little uh, little things in there and you'll notice actually the wording is identical all the way through but there is some interesting little points in here and and um as much uh, uh interested in brochures i am cars i think the brochures are really really interested and kind of like that's why the channel was all brought about to to look at that now of course this is the mark ii i think the mark ii is actually more attractive than the mark one um but the pi wasn't new to the mark ii it came out in 68 on the mark one um so the mark one pi is much rarer very rare car um but it did get a bit of a reputation for being unreliable and pure poor fuel economy remember this is very early days for a, a fuel um injected car um so it did have its issues but on course like we don't really like to dwell on the problems on the issues with it's more about celebrating these cars so that's what we'll be doing here today but anyway let's zoom in on a few of these little things and then we'll start looking inside okay so this is the earlier brochure from 69 the launch brochure as it says the the new triumph dealer stamp up here always nice to see a dealer stamp i think cleves garage um in cornwall so that's very nice and of course that little telephone number really aging it doesn't it if we go up the page we see the later brochure from 72 really emphasizing the fact that this is a petrol injection something a little bit different let's have a look inside the brochure and see what we can see okay so we move to the first page first thing to see is We've got identical cars, identical pictures on this, the 69, and this, the 72. The text, which I'm kind of like struggling to get on because it's such a long brochure, same text on each. Saying at the top here, the Power Elite. You join it in the Triumph 2.5 Pi Mark II. We will come back and look at some of that information. Now, I say these two pictures are identical. Let's zoom in and make sure. Okay, if you zoom in on this lower car, we can see this registration plate, a H plate. Makes sense, that means it's either a 69 or a 70 uh, model year car. So that kind of like goes with the brochure, doesn't it? But you'll start notice something interesting if we move up to a later brochure. They've actually edited the brochure to edit the number plate. So it's the same number plate apart from the last letter, a K plate. Now, uh, K plate was um, 1971 to 72, I do believe. So they kind of like made the plate match the year of the brochure. So interesting, it's obviously, you know, been edited to show that number plate, but um, a little bit of unusual. It didn't just start again and get a new photograph if there was that worried about it not looking like a brand new car. But there we go 
kind of like think these little bit of things in car brochures are what really make them interesting. We can also see here the PI badging on this uh, wheel cap, really designating this as being the sporty model. Just before we do actually go to the text, one thing I wanted to note as well, the older brochure, much clearer photography than the later one, like they've kind of edited this one, it's come out much fainter. You can really see it with the indicators how much brighter the older brochure is. So the bright older brochure is actually the better brochure, which is a little bit unusual, isn't it? Let's read that text now. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. So really weirdly worded, actually, this paragraph. It's kind of like a bit strange, but it says, By definition, an elite is a numerically small group whose exclusivity is further underlined by the distinction of its members. In motor car terms, there could be no more apt description of the Triumph 2.5 PI Mark II. It has the distinction of being the first British saloon with a petrol injected engine as standard equipment. Petrol injection was developed initially for the world's top racing cars, where power and reliability of power are crucial. And obviously, this sophisticated fuel system puts the Triumph 2.5 Pi way ahead in the power game. And it is not being churned out in the computer crippling numbers associated with mass production. To own one assures you a place in the power elite. Okay, the next page, and this is the older brochure. We don't actually get this nice image in the newer brochure for whatever reason. Possibly because it's deemed to have been too old fashioned. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's not used in the new one anyway. Um, the text over the side here is identical. These photos are also identical in the newer brochure as well. Um, so, what we'll do, we'll read some of this. I don't think we'll read it all, but we'll read some of it and have a look at these pictures. Okay, so it starts, and of course you can always pause this and read this yourself, but it sort of starts off telling us a bit about fuel injection. And at the bottom there it says, performance is dramatic, power flows effortlessly from the smooth singing 2.5 litre six cylinder engine. And there is that engine. And it's sort of fancy little graphic that goes with it kind of like unusual aren't these late 60s early 70s no one would be really that interested in the modern brochure seeing that but you know i think people were a bit more mechanically inclined then um it goes on to say stopping power um the two brakes are server assisted with nine and three quarter inch discs at the front rear drum brakes are self-adjusting to give more constant pedal travel regardless of brake shoe wear okay so this is the first picture i'm going to show you this is from the 69 brochure it's from this very nice blue uh, pi and this sort of image near a airport if we look at the newer brochure it's obviously exactly the same picture same airport port picture same plane but they've edited it and changed the color to brown um so for some reason somebody's said in the in in the office there we need to see a brown pi so they've merely colored it in a brown uh, to meet what was needed and kind of like lost i think the bottom picture does look far nicer in this sort of <laughs> the reflections everything about this picture is much clearer and this is much duller and then obviously they've just colored it in brown so i wanted to show you that how strange that is with this particular brochure so yeah i just wanted to show that and obviously these two pictures were never meant to be seen side by side so i'm sure at the time nobody noticed that some text on the opposite page again this is the earlier brochure so we've still got that h reg plate although this picture isn't seen in the later one so they didn't have to adjust it we'll have a look at some of the text 
Again, I'm not going to read all this, but of course you can pause the screen if you want to read the full brochure. But it's saying here, speed, grace, power are all synonymous with the word jet. And they all apply to the Triumph 2.5 Pi Mark II. The abundant power of the petrol injection, the tigerish top speed of around 110 miles an hour, the long arrow graceful body and there it goes but really emphasizing this is like a sporty car uh, we get this little image of the family and we get some acceleration figures so um, 0 to 50 7.5 0 to 60 10.5 so remember this is the early 70s in fact this is the late 60s even in, in this particular brochure late 60s it's pretty good um, performance really so you can understand why this model came about then turn the page and we get interior shots in this case this is the later brochure so the pictures aren't quite as clear so the whole um, interior type um, shots on this later brochure although if you look at the earlier brochure I kind of like young lady appears strangely not seen on the new one these physical pictures but obviously this picture is the same shot I do believe oh no actually it isn't quite the same shot this on the um, latest one is it? it's a slightly different angle of shot by the looks of it, it looks like these cigars are appearing on the uh, newer one but again not quite as clear a picture on the newer brochure I think so the older brochure is certainly a superior brochure overall um, the text if we're interested is talking about this uh, whether you choose the deep plushness of the corded briar nylon upholstery or the leather look richness of triumphs perforated expanded vinyl seating that doesn't sound great does it your experience the same molded to your comfort surprising there isn't an actual proper leather option on this car i think and it started talking about the you know the front seat backs pass through almost 90 degrees etc etc um and it's showing that the quick release lever on the column permits rake adjustment through four inches of vertical movement again a very forward thinking car in that way it says here no spanners no strength needed you just use your hand um, it then goes on to tell us about this walnut uh, veneer on the door cappings instruments clearing comp comprehensive speedometer a mileometer and trip tachometer temperature battery and fuel gauges with eight light warning system and we can kind of like just about make if we just Go past and you can see the sort of very nice water cappings on there. Okay, so the next page is showing the, the estate, much rarer, of course, particularly in PI trim, um, a very rare car today. And I do particularly like the design of the estate version. The estate is my favourite, I must admit. It then um, shows more pictures. These pictures are, are all identical on the new one. And the old one that we see here but we're looking at the older brochure because the pictures are a little bit nicer and some of the text it's comparing it to a jet again a similar sort of thing what we saw on the saloon and it gives us some acceleration figures 0 to 50 8 seconds 0 to 70 14.5 weird that it kind of like misses out the 0 to 60 figure I guess which is a little bit weird um, it kind of like says basically you know it's similar to the uh, saloon it's got the same appointments overall um but there are very nice little pictures and i do particularly like this hard wearing material these sort of like um guards going down the bottom what would you call them um sort of aluminium maybe on the aluminium strips some kind of metal strips there to help um lessen the damage of the car and of course you can fold the seats down to make a very practical estate car 
Okay, and this older brochure kind of like folds out to show the specifications. Um, these pictures are exactly also completely identical and all the specifications are completely identical on the newer brochure as well. Um, although I guess we should point out Yes, we should just zoom in on this little picture, you know, H Reg on this uh, older brochure, newer brochure edited to have a K plate, quite crudely actually, um, and then similar on this one, we can just about make out. He's loading the luggage in there to a K plated car, which has been edited. Original brochure as a H plate. Other than that, the text and the specs are the same. Okay, specification page, I'm not going to go through all this, of course, but general equipment there. Um, it's got an electric clock, screen wash, cigar lighter, twin sun visors, molded pile carpet, wood cappings in the door and waist, attachments for the safety harness, front and rear. Controls include warning lights for low fuel, choke, main beam ignition and low oil pressure. Upholstery, superior quality, expanded vinyl, piece to improve, um, what does it say there? Breathing of the trim, or corded brio nylon, separate front seats with reclining adjustment, divan rear seat with wide centre armrest. And it is a lovely little image of that interior with all that wood on it. it is a, I think it is a very attractive interior on this particular model. We do have some information on that heating and ventilation system. I'm not going to read it all through, but of course you can pause the screen if you want to read all that. We've also got some of the dimensions and the weights. Continues on with the weights for the estate and the engine. You know, a 2498cc uh, engine and there's some of the uh, power and torque figures. Tyres. And you've actually got two choices, strangely enough. I have that Goodyear or that Dunlop. Um, a luggage boot space, a Lord space. Some of the capacities. Some of the exterior equipment, so a sealed beam headlamps, uh, direction indicators, repeater lamps on door posts, polished aluminium sill plates, simulated magnum wheel trims, and a tool roll. Uh, some information about the transmission and clutch, of course, synchro mesh on all forward gears. Information about the suspension, the brakes, steering, and the battery. And then we've got some of, well, I should probably just show you that little picture there, shouldn't I? That's how um, this model was badged, or 2500 Mark II, and the word injection underneath the rear lights, and this, what they uh, described as the polished aluminium, oh, sorry, the simulated magnum wheel trims, I should say. You just about make out the sort of Leyland badge in the centre there. Uh, there's the performance figures. Did kind of like mention it a little bit in the brochure at the, the, the start there. And it kind of like compares it to the estate car performance there as well. And then on the bottom, we get some of the optional items at extra cost. Um, things like power steering. And that kind of like brings us to the end of this particular brochure. So this is really a brochure that was requested a few times by a few people. The PI version um, finally got round to doing it. So um, thank you for the request. Um, and the PI model was actually replaced in 75 by the 2500S, marking the end of injections on this particular car but certainly a very interesting car and if you have any memories of the pi or indeed any of the triumph range always interesting to hear it in the comments but for now we'll say thank you so much for watching quartz light today there'll be many more brochures coming in the near future so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon
Take care and goodbye.